Honey? Can you please come down here? What I think is great about this movie is that it's a thriller, it's fun. I think that when I read it, it's something that I would go to the movies to see with my friends on a Friday night. Something that's thrilling, something that's exciting, and I love when things, you know, have a dark turn, and even though in this case it's, it's pretty tragic. Doc, something has happened. You can't go in there. Dad, where's mom? Even though the means are not good, the intention of wanting to find justice for the murder of his wife, that intention is really strong and really good. I love my family. I failed to protect them. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dr. Kersey, nothing yet. So there's nothing that I can do? Is that what you're saying? You can have faith. By daytime, Paul Kersey's is a surgeon, and at nighttime, he goes out into the streets cleaning them up as this character that has become known in pop culture as the Grim Reaper. He wears a, a hoodie, Dr. Kersey wears a hoodie to cover his head so people see him, and someone refers to him as the, the Grim Reaper, and the phrase goes viral, and that's what they're calling him, despite the police's best efforts to stop it. Everybody's watching this viral video of this guy in the hoodie, they're calling him the Grim Reaper. He stopped the carjacking. Is he right for taking the law into his own hands? He's become a folk hero. You can't really tell a story today, honestly, without uh, including social media into the environment and into the characters' lives. So you'll see us texting, you'll see us making references to our phone, YouTube videos or whatever. We're close, pal. You're Joey, right? Yeah. Well, kill my wife! Who else was there? I don't know anything else. You're not gonna kill me. No. Jack is comes over after every take and and uh, gives you his opinion and, and how things and tries to guide you in the right direction and and um, you know he's one of those people that are just really pleasant to to, to work for it's uh, he's um, you know he's a real shooter he, he gets things he gets things done and he gets things done uh, really well it's, it's a pleasure to work with him. Has to do it. For me, what's interesting is when a character moves the moral goalposts. And we've seen this guy who's so ethical and so moral and saves lives, he keeps just pushing where the line is drawn, just further and further and further, completely justifying his own actions. Locked, locked, and ready to rock. I'll see. Everyone can see him doing this, and that's one of the fun things about doing Death Wish set in the year 2017, is we could really show how these things go viral and turn into memes and turn into GIFs and just how everyone instantly experiences the moment as it's, you know, as it's happening. Someone took my wife. Everyone involved is going to pay. 